Charles Kaler. I'm from Anderson, South Carolina. Grew up here, was born here. Well, I've always been uh, big into like working with my hands and building things. My dad did a little bit of woodwork growing up, so I kind of knew the basics. About a year ago, a friend of mine, his name was Evan, was working on a table, and he asked me for my help. So I didn't have anything to do, so I went over to his house. He had all the woodworking tools he needed. So I just kind of helped him lay some stuff out, super simple stuff. We built the table, and I was like, this is a lot of fun. Let's build some more stuff. Clamp them up. And wait. And wait a day. I originally came with my brand, The Woodchuck, because one, I work with wood. Two, my name is Charles. I didn't name for that is Chuck. And then a the third reason which isn't as widely known as my birthday's on February 2nd, also known as Groundhog's Day, and a groundhog is also known as a woodchuck. So it all kind of plays in together. Well, I created the brand because I take a lot of pride in my work. And so that differentiates me from other people. You know, when people see something and say, oh, that looks really nice, then they're like, okay, it's got the woodchuck stamp on it. That's why. I'll just clean up that joint right there. Make it flat. Originally, I started buying my wood um, from this company called Woodcraft in Greenville. And I still use them a, a good bit because they always have stuff in stock. But then the more I started to do the work, I started meeting people around the area that have sawmills. Uh, friends of mine, Chase Danick, John Crow, um, Ron Chinook. All these guys are dealers around here that I'll go call them if I need something specific to see if they have it. Yeah, as a small business, I definitely want to support other small businesses, you know, because I know how it feels. Spot check, I guess. Calibrate. That's why I use a calibrate flatness on my boards. I don't want to send somebody a board that wobbles. This one is perfectly flat. Yeah, when people give me artistic freedom on something, I enjoy it a lot more. You know, like when I made this Zelda board, it was like, Whatever wood, whatever size, I trust you for it to look cool. You know, I just know that Zelda's cool and I think the white will look good. So I'm like, okay, I can work with that. This is the center of this board. Yeah, I know, right? Or like my nieces or something, I'll ask them, I'll be like, why isn't Xbox hooked up? I was playing Fortnite with my little nieces. Speaking of the Zelda cutting board I just made, this is it right here, finished up. It's uh, made from eight quarter English walnut end grain cutting board. It's 12 by 18 by one and a half. Got a three quarter inch juice groove and a Legend of Zelda crest on it, I guess. Filled with white epoxy. Pretty cool board. I think it turned out really nice. Yeah, I remember. I remember that now. He said that. Yeah, I used to go there and skateboard a good bit. Oh. Never learned how to do the skateboard. Oh, Yeah, I just want to give a huge shout out to all y'all that have supported me. Everybody who's been a fan of Woodchuck Customs, bought my pieces, talked to me about it, whatever. My dad has been a huge supporter throughout the beginning. He lives right down the road. And if I ever had like a big project I needed help moving around, he'd always come right over and help me out, no problem. The white is cool though, isn't it? It is, it's like marble. Yeah, that's what I was telling it'll look just like marble. Yeah. Cool. Alright, I wanna get a taco. See you around. See ya. <laughs> See y'all. And um, I think it's awesome that everybody in this community has helped me to make things that make me happy, that makes y'all happy. Self-leveling. That's cool to watch. So these swirls will be st stuck in there. Just kind of messing around.
After this soaks in, wipe a lot of this crap off, then hit it with this uh, wood wax. It'll actually soak it all the way through if I put enough on there. I'm done with this side. Pretty much just gonna let it soak in from here. All that's gonna soak in. Yeah, so if you guys like this stuff, follow me on Instagram, Woodchuck Custom Creations. My website is literally the same thing, woodchuckcustomcreations.com. And um, I have a Facebook, but somebody already had that name. So I think it's Woodchuck Custom Creation, not plural. Kind of a bummer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just follow the Instagram.